Sitting down and binging a television show is the favorite pastime of our generation. Welcome to Top Demand. In this video we will show you 10 shows that are among the best sitcoms that have ever hit the television in the last couple decades. Without further ado, sit back and enjoy. Friends, Rachel, Ross, Monica, Joey, Chandler and Phoebe are 620 something year olds living off one another in the heart of New York City. Friends was a sitcom that aired on NBC from September 94 to May of 04. Over the course of 10 years, you got to follow an average group of buddies who go through massive mayhem, family trouble, past and future relationships, fights, tears, and surprises as they learn what it really means to be a friend. A lot was achieved in the 10 years this show was on the air in terms of success. Being nominated for enormous 62 Emmys, they received one award for Outstanding Comedy Series in 2002. The Office, a mediocre paper company in Scranton, Pennsylvania, in the hands of branch manager Michael Scott. This mockumentary follows the everyday lives of the manager and the employees he manages. The crew follows the employees around 24-7 and captures their quite humorous and bizarre encounters as they will do what it takes to keep the company thriving. To simulate the look of an actual documentary, it was filmed with a single camera setup and didn't include a live in-studio audience or a laugh track, which is not normal for a sitcom. The American adaptation of the famous British version of the show started off on a rocky path. The first season of only six episodes long was received with mixed reviews from the critics. How I Met Your Mother Airing from 2005 to 2014, the nine seasons that have earned the Emmy Awards all lead up to the legendary moment of Ted's final encounter with The One. This love story is told in reverse by Ted Mosby, the main character, as he recounts to his son and daughter in the year 2030 the events that led him to meet their mother. The series follows Ted and his group of friends in New York City's Manhattan. The Simpsons. The Simpsons is an American animated sitcom. The series is a satirical depiction of working class epitomized by the Simpson family, which consists of Homer, Marge, Bart, Lisa, and Maggie. The show is set in the fictional town of Springfield and parodies American culture and society television and the human condition. Since its debut in December of 1989, 679 episodes have been aired. The number of episodes have made it the longest running American sitcom. Arrested Development. Arrested Development, originally aired on Fox for the first three seasons from 2003 to 2006. You get to meet the wildly dysfunctional Booth family. This family was once at the height of the real estate development in Orange County, California. But when the family business, the Bluth Company, goes bust, they're suddenly found penniless with their assets frozen. Definitely the shortest in length in this list, but in 2011, Netflix agreed to license the new episodes and distribute them exclusively on their streaming service. The episodes were produced and released in May of 2013. Modern Family Told from a perspective of unseen documentary filmmaker, the series offers an honest, open, hilarious perspective of family life. Parents Phil and Claire yearn for an honest, open relationship with their three kids, but a daughter who is trying to grow up too fast, another who is too smart for her own good, and a rambunctious young son make it challenging. Claire's dad Jay and his Latina wife Gloria are raising two sons together, but people sometimes believe Jay to be Gloria's father. Jay's son Mitchell and his partner Cameron have adopted a little Asian girl completing one big straight, gay, multicultural, traditional, happy family. Community. A former lawyer attends a community college when it is discovered he faked his bachelor's degree. In an attempt to get with a student in a Spanish class, he forms a Spanish study group. To his surprise, more people than expected join the group causing to form an unlikely community. Throughout its six seasons that aired on NBC, 
It made heavy use of the meta humor and pop culture references, often parroting films and television cliches. Parks and Rec. Leslie Nope, a mid-level bureaucrat in an Indiana Parks and Recreation Department, hopes to beautify her town and boost her own career by helping local nurse Ann Perkins turn an abandoned construction site into a community park. However, what should be a fairly simple project is stymied at every turn by oatfish bureaucrats, selfish neighbors, governmental red tape, and a myriad of other challenges. Tom Haverford, who delights in exploiting his position for personal gain, is likely to undermine her efforts as to help her, while her boss, Ron Swanson, is admittedly opposed to government of any form, even though he's a bureaucrat. Seinfeld. The show stars Jerry Seinfeld as a fictionalized version of himself and mostly focuses on his personal life with a handful of friends and acquaintances, including his best friend George Costanza, friend and former girlfriend Elaine, and quirky neighbor from across the hall, Cosmo Kramer. Like many other American sitcoms, this one is no different. The show is predominantly set in an apartment building that is located in Manhattan's Upper West Side in New York City. This show often described as being a show about nothing, as many of its episodes are about the monotony of daily life. It's always sunny in Philadelphia. The gang of five raging alcoholic narcissists run a failing dive bar in South Philly. Each member of the gang displays unethical behavior and traits such as excessive drinking and drug abuse, dishonesty and egotism. Episodes usually find themselves hatching elaborate schemes and often conspiring against one another and others for personal gain, vengeance, or simply entertaining of watching the other's downfall. They habitually inflict mental, emotional, and physical pain on each other and anyone who crosses their path. They also regularly use blackmail to manipulate one another and outside the group. For more top 10s like this, be sure to subscribe for more. Thanks and we'll see you again.